Do you want to know the top seven, seven neighborhoods in the Kempsville area? Well, that's what we're talking about today and we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone and I'm a real estate agent in Hampton Roads, Virginia. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And also the like button, that really tells the YouTube algorithms that I'm doing a good job. And I love helping people move into this area, whether it's for the first time, been here before, I love doing it. So if you have any questions, you need help, please let me know. I'll drop my contact information in the description. If you plan on moving to this area, you can always reach out and ask me questions and I'll do whatever I can to help you. But today we're talking about the Kempsville area and seven top neighborhoods in this area. Now that's a pretty big area and it's a school district that has many subdivisions in it. These seven will span several price ranges because I want to make sure and give as many people a value in this video. There will be some townhouses and some single family houses and bigger single family houses too. The first one is Bellamy Manor. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Virginia Beach. One of the things I like about this neighborhood is the mature trees and you'll hear me talk a lot about the trees because Virginia Beach has some areas that are really well developed but they're not too high in character like the neighborhoods themselves don't have a lot to them they just look the same over and over again some of these neighborhoods I love have some uniqueness to them and one of these is Bellamy Manor the trees are awesome the houses are, are more spread out just a little bit compared to other neighborhoods often in the same price range uh, and a lot of them also are ranches so you have a mixture of two-story and ranch and also many are brick which is my favorite too most of these houses are anywhere from like the mid to upper 300s and the very very low end but most of them are in the 400 low fours up into the mid to upper four hundred thousand dollar price range they can be anywhere from like around 1800 to 2000 square feet up to over 3000 square feet these are not your entry level houses but if you are looking for this price range this is one that i like a lot another thing about this area that i like is that it's very centrally located it's got a road called edwin drive it connects up near mount trashmore and down to the, that road providence road which uh, gets you to a lot of other places in virginia beach and a lot of the floor plans are also pretty nice too. However, I will say that this, this one and a couple others I'll mention later have some floor plans that are kind of funky and it's like they just, for a certain few years, the designers just kind of had a weird time of it. <laughs> it's like, what, how did they decide on this floor plan? So that, that happens sometimes. Now number two is Caroline Farms. I love this one because of the price that you're paying to get in here. You can be as low as the low 200s and be have a single family house in Caroline Farms. Now also, you're very close to other neighborhoods that are up over 300,000 and up to close to four. So you're getting a pretty nice house for the price and you're getting a nice surrounding area along with it. These houses start at three bedrooms and go up to five bedrooms normally and you know anywhere from sometimes the, the square footage is as low as 14 ish hundred square feet but it goes up you know close to 3,000 mostly. So you get a wide range of all types of houses in here. There are ranch style, there are also two-story and mostly slab in this neighborhood. Alternatively compared to crawl spaces which uh, is often pretty common here in Virginia Beach. The houses are closer together so that the yard sizes are a little bit smaller so you, you kind of that's kind of built in with the price uh, but for the for the price neighborhood location and your proximity to uh, the interstate which is only about five minute ish minutes away I really like the value and it's one of the best to me uh, in the under three hundred thousand dollar price range in Virginia Beach especially if you need three or four bedrooms and two full baths and a lot of these houses do have two full baths now the one of the drawbacks to this area is as close to some older commercial areas um, not too much of a drawback to be such a detriment, but you're close to an area called Newtown Road, which is kind of busy, and that's the uh, interstate exit that you'd be taking to get off onto other parts of town. So that Newtown Road exit, it's kind of annoying in my opinion, but they're finally, they're starting to do some construction there, and eventually that area will become nicer and easier to navigate, but for now, you're in some construction and it's not as comfortable. Now next is another one of my favorites in the area, Fairfield. This is an awesome spot. Talk about location. You're right next to Print Providence Road and Kempsville Road. So that's basically you can go north and south or east and west to other parts of Virginia Beach. You're close to multiple interstate uh, exits. And these houses are really nice. Ranch style a lot of times, similar to Bellamy Manor. Some brick ranches, two story also. A lot of these are over 2,000 square feet and sometimes over 3,000 square feet. Uh, but they're priced anywhere from like the mid 300s up to around 450 to 475. Uh, but you're paying for an amazing location similar to Bellamy Manor. And these two are very close 
uh, together. One of the benefits also of uh, Fairfield is the amount of access points out to different parts of the area. So you can go north and get to Princess Anne Road. You can go east and get to uh, Kempsville Road. And you can go south or southwest and get out to different parts of Providence Road. So that really saves you from having to go around to different stoplights and get to other places pretty quickly. These floor plans are nice. They're spread out pretty well. And again, the, the land sizes are often pretty nice too. So you're not getting a bunch of houses close to each other, which is another reason why I just love this neighborhood. And I grew up close to Fairfield also. So I kind of have an affinity for the neighborhood. Now, number four is one that is more lower price, but is a townhouse neighborhood and a pretty good option if you want to stay in and around that $200,000 price range. It's called Kempsville Lake. Kempsville Lake is, there's a lake called Kempsville Lake and it's just off of Baxter Road that connects uh, down near Princess Anne Road and up towards Independence Boulevard, just near Town Center. This is just off the main road. So if you're right, if you live right on the, the, the main road on Baxter, you can uh, feel like it's a little bit too busy, but once you get off the main road, um, it's relatively quiet and there are townhouses and some have garages, which is also very hard to find in any price range uh, in Virginia Beach, which is an attached house with a garage. There is a small HOA fee, but you do get uh, some amenities along with that. And the prices for the, the garages are in the, the low 200,000s. You can get some Kempsville Lake townhouses in the upper 100s often sometimes too. So this is pretty affordable and you're not paying a really high HOA fee in, in addition. So you're getting location, you're getting a uh, size. A lot of these houses are anywhere from like 12, 1300 square feet, but a lot of these houses are 1500 to 1700 square feet. So they're great, like three bedroom uh, townhouses. And they also have two or two and a half baths most of the time as well. So uh, for the size and for bang for buck, you get a lot at Kempsville Lake. Now, just up the road from Kempsville Lake is a neighborhood called Larkspur, another one of my favorites in Virginia Beach. This one is like Bellamy Manor on steroids as far as the trees go. This is just north of Bellamy Manor. Uh, just actually, it connects to the same road, Edwin Drive, that, uh, that Bellamy Manor uh, connects with as well. Uh, so you just go a little bit further north and you hit Larkspur. Well, this is really close to Mount Trashmore, which is one big reason why I like this neighborhood too, but the neighborhood is awesome. So it's like you're driving in the midst of some cleared woods in the middle of a city. It's really, really nice. You're getting a really nice house starting at three bedroom, four bedroom and up. Uh, 2,000 square feet is usually the bare minimum, but you can go up to 3,000 and plus, but you're paying for it. So most of these start in and around the three seventy-five dollars to $400,000 price range and they go up from there up to five hundred dollars or so. But there are some other Larkspur neighborhoods around it that are more lower price, under $300,000 and just over three hundred. dollars They're not the same flair and feel that I like for the traditional Larkspur neighborhood I'm talking about, but there are some others around there. So if you're interested in Larkspur, uh, but you can't go up in, high, in that high threes or low fours, mid fours price range, there are a couple other neighborhoods nearby that might fit the bill even though it's not the same exact feel of Larkspur itself. These are mostly brick ranch or two-story. These are mostly on crawl spaces also as opposed to uh, the slabs that are like in Caroline Farms. So uh, if you do like crawl spaces, this is probably fine for you too. And you have enough of a separation around you, but you also have plenty of neighbors and a very, very rich community also. People know each other very well. A lot of people that have been in here have lived here for a long time. So if I was gonna pick any neighborhood in Virginia Beach, this would be one of the top two or three I would pick anywhere. Bang for buck, even for a $450,000 house, you're getting a lot and not having to pay six or $700,000 that you might have to pay in other parts of Virginia Beach. Now number six <laughs> is Stratford Chase. Now this one has one of my favorite streets or sections of a street in the entire city. Stratford Chase is just off of Kempsville Road and also south and uh, southeast of Bellamy Manor and Fairfield. This one has, as you drive on Stratford Chase Drive, that road has some of the best tree covered areas as you drive down that road. It feels so tranquil right in the middle of town. It's awesome. These start in the lower to mid $300,000 uh, price range and go up over 400. Uh, so it's a pretty good value for what you're getting. I, I will say though that the drawback to this neighborhood is a couple, there are a couple things. One is a lot of the lot sizes are weird. So you might get a weird backyard. The uh, size of the backyard could be strange. Uh, but in addition to that, the floor plans, some of these floor plans are also strange. And it's kind of like what I was talking about as far as Bellamy goes. There are some floor plans in Stratford Chase that I'm not a fan of at all. It doesn't even feel like you can live in like some of these floor plans really easily. Not the case for all of the houses, but there are specific ones that are really weird. But these are also three, four, five bedroom houses in around that 2,000 to 3,000 square foot range. A lot of these are ranch and two story. They are built in the same time period, generally speaking, as Bellamy Manor and Fairfield. Uh, so you have some similar uh, styles to them. But this might be a little bit more of an affordable alternative to places nearby. 
But again, the drawback might just be that floor plan thing. If you run into one that's cheaper, it could possibly be because people don't like it because it's weird. Another benefit to Stratford Chase is you're extremely close to Fairfield Shopping Center, which is on uh, Providence Road. Uh, this is has a Kroger, has other strip mall uh, uh, shops there too, as well as a Skinny Dip, which is one of me and my wife's favorites, a frozen uh, yogurt place, as well as other restaurants and a grocery store across the street, a food line. Uh, but you're pretty close to a lot of the things that you might need for essentials uh, without having to go too far. And there's also a park just north of Stratford Chase too, which is next to that whole Fairfield area. Now, another one that I love too is Woodstock. This is actually the one that's the closest to where I grew up. It's a neighborhood just off of Providence Road and close to Indian River Road. And if you go into Woodstock, and I mentioned parks before, this is one of the bigger parks that you don't really hear much about. When you go into the neighborhood, uh, one of the first turnoffs to the left is this long path. You can walk down that path and then all of a sudden you get to this big wide open space. There's picnic tables over there, big fields for playing games, a little uh, playground. That's in the Woodstock neighborhood. But these houses are similar to Stratford Chase, similar to Fairfield, a lot of brick ranches, some vinyl as well, crawl spaces for the most part, and you've got two story. Uh, but they're starting in like the three or four bedroom ranch style. They can go to four or five bedrooms and two story up to over 3,000 square feet. And I did a video about Woodstock I'll put up here too and talk about the history about this area. There are some older houses that are still here that, are, that have been built decades ago. But for the most part, this has been subdivided in the last 50 years or so. There are some that are on the water too, which are getting a little bit more expensive. You can get in as low as the low 300s in this neighborhood. But for the most part, you're talking between 350 and 450. And then the off chance, you might have some of the largest ones right in the corners of the neighborhood that might go for over that. This one's right off of Providence Road and you're pretty close to an interstate exit, which is the Indian River Road exit. So the benefit is you're close to it. The drawback is you, there is a road that connects close to Woodstock that can back up during rush hour time. So even though your proximity to the interstate's close, that road might keep you from getting either getting home quickly or getting to the interstate quickly uh, during rush hour. And one thing I want to mention about all these neighborhoods is, is that they're all relatively close to uh, parks, which is a great benefit that the city of Virginia Beach provides that they have over 200 publicly funded parks. So each of these neighborhoods either has parks in them that are easy to get to or just are very close by other parks that you can get to as well. And I will see you on the next video.